Hi people. It's been a couple of vlogs. So I was just uh, traveling and walking through uh, the Shawnee National Forest. And some mushrooms and I wanted to just share a little bit about them. These are <coughs> hen of the woods, otherwise known as maitake, or um, they have a couple other names. And they shouldn't be mistaken for the black staining polypore, which some people try to eat, but they're a little more rubbery. And then these have white pores on the underside. And the way that you can tell if they're fresh is they should have a pretty easy to break texture. But also on the underside, the pores get old eventually. So you don't really want them once the pores get old. Um, but these are pretty fresh. So those are hen of the woods, otherwise known as my talking. And those I've posted about having uh, amino modulating properties and I put them in my medicinal mushroom trinity formula <clears throat> which I have a couple left and so hen of the woods is a really good edible it's pretty easy to eat uh, you can just chop it up finely and uh, saute it make sure to cook all wild mushrooms and all, all uh, cultivated mushrooms because they have actually toxins which are rendered out by heat so that's Hen of the Woods. And then here is a bunch of different shape and size um, ringed honey mushrooms. So that's Armillaria tabescens. Let me try to find, a, there's an example of a young one where the ring has not broke, broken from the gills yet. So what happens is as the cap opens, this ring which covers the gills starts to separate. You can see it there. And then you can see the gills on the inside. <coughs> And you get to the point where this is an older one, but still good. And you can see the remnants of the ring or the annulus on the stem. And so these shouldn't be mistaken for a couple. Um, there's foliota species, which uh, usually have a little more kind of striation. Like this is a young hen, and you can see it's got kind of speckles. Uh, sorry, a young honey mushroom, and it's got kind of speckles. But um, foliota has a lot more. So... There's ringed and ringless honey mushrooms. I eat them both, and some people complain of digestive upset, but I think that has a lot to do with uh, possibly mistaking them and trying to eat them uh, as foliota or jack-o'-lanterns. And jack-o'-lantern mushrooms are much more orange, and then also the gills are orange, so you don't want to mistake them for jacks. So then the other issue of concern might be that people aren't cooking these well enough and eating them somewhat raw. So. I recommend chop them finely, saute them hard. Um, I'll usually cook them in some butter, and then when they're kind of getting browned, I'll pour some water and then boil them for about 10 minutes and uh, reduce that liquid back down into the mushrooms. Mushrooms are generally really thirsty and uh, require a lot of oil, and so I like to use some water too. If I can grab my knife out. So when I was picking these, some of these were kind of old and big, like this one. Uh, but what I'll do is, if you slice in the, the cross section, like that, you can actually see that there's no bug bites, uh, bug markings. So sometimes on mushrooms you'll get kind of the bugs eat them. And so these are really fresh, even though they're kind of older. And uh, this will be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next couple of days. I have a couple uh, eggs left. I'll probably do some mushrooms and eggs tomorrow morning and there's a little look at honey mushrooms which are out and about so uh, hope y'all have fun go out in the woods look for mushrooms and be safe peace friends